It's time, time, time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. Now, shout to Chris Rock. Uh, He said on Sunday that he tested positive for COVID-19. He said, hey, guys, I just found out I have COVID-19. Trust me, you don't want this. Get vaccinated. Yeah, we have to start having more context around those, uh, you know, those type of announcements, because the first thing people say is, well, Chris is already fully vaccinated and still got COVID. But I think what Chris is trying to say is, you know, if he wasn't vaccinated, it'd probably be a lot worse. It'd be a lot worse. You remember when he's on The Breakfast Club, he talked about getting vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I'm, you know, they call me two shots rock. I got my Moderna and, you know, I might, I might even get the Pfizer as a backup. What you know, about Johnson not? and Johnson? Would you get the Johnson and Johnson? Yeah, Johnson and Johnson, the food stamps of <laughs> vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with people not wanting to get vaccinated. People, I don't know what's in there. And You know how many drugs I've bought at strip club bathrooms? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to take a vaccine. I have done far more dangerous things. Now, people were making fun of Chris Rock because he said on here he had Moderna, but then when he did Fallon, he said he got something different. You is, got the Moderna? I got the, I got the Johnson & Johnson, the food stamps of vaccine. <laughs> you know, I skipped the line, too, to get my vaccine. I didn't care. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I, I used my celebrity, Jimmy. <laughs> you just did it. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, it. I'm I didn't it. care. I was like, hey, step aside, Betty White. Guys, he's joking. It's called comedy, he's guys. Joking, guys. He's, Why do y'all take comedian. people so literal all the time? It's clearly comedy. It's clearly satire. He's, he's like, comedian, Jesus guys. Christ, he's, man. He's joking. Ha-ha. You got to start changing your voice now when you're doing a joke, or you got to change your voice when you're doing satire or being yeah. sarcastic now. You got to put in quotes like joke time. All right, and, uh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Got, yeah, maybe you got to announce that it's a joke. Hey, I'm joke. about to tell a joke. Joke, guys. I took the Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Come on. Well, anyway, Chris Rock, we hope he uh, feels better and gets it gets back stronger immediately. Oh, yeah, we just need more context to those type of uh, announcements. That's all, because you know people can't wait to argue and debate and everything else. But I think he was just simply saying if he didn't have the vaccine, he'd probably be a lot worse off. Absolutely. Now, WAC 100, he did an interview with Bootleg Kev, and he talked about a lot. One of the things he talked about was his conversation he had with Takashi Six Nine and who checked him. I'm pretty sure it cost me a few friends and got on me. I think the one that then got on me the most, right, is Birdman. That's my brother, and we get on each other. But Birdman, out of everybody, Birdman, it got on my ass. What did he say? No, he just told me. He said, who you are and what you stand for and what you represent is greater and bigger than that. So, you know, at the end of the day, some people got that lane with me. You know what I mean? Where they can call me, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to humble myself. And I'm going to listen. All right. He also talked about uh, Ray J and Kim K's sex tape. And is there more to that tape? Kanye, holla at me, bro. We got part two on the laptop. Ain't never been seen. We'd love for you to have it. It'd be a great personal private NFT. So there's another Ray J, Kim K sex tape? Yeah, that was more graphic and better than the first one. Is it ever going to see the light of day? Personally, I would never give it to anybody but Kanye. Because that's key. It's a mother, it's children. Mm. It's a lot of people that didn't try to reach for that. For a price tag, obviously, Kanye could buy it from you, or would you just give it to him and say You know what? I I probably would, because it's Kanye, I I probably would give it to Kanye. Now, Kim K's uh, lawyer says the claim that there's an unreleased sex tape is false. It is unfortunate that people make statements to try and get their 15 minutes of fame. Ray J, well, you know, WAC 100 uh, manages Ray J. I don't know if he still manages uh, Ray J, but he did at one point. Ray J responded on his Twitter and said, this ain't cool. I've been staying off the radar. Just staying focused and being humble and thankful for all the blessings I'm receiving. How can I show growth and maturity if this kind of stuff keeps happening? I'm a father now, and my job is to be a great parent and put them first. This is not the message I want to send out. Dropping the clues bombs for Ray J, goddammit. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's, 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 hey, that healed people hear things differently and respond to things differently. I see Ray J. I see you, Ray J. All right. And WAC 100 responded. He says, Kim K's attorneys, ask your client about Santa Barbara and the signed deliverables for tape one, two, and three. Can't control what I now control. If I have 15 minutes of fame again, I'll be forced to display the signed contracts. Hashtag try me. So. All I know is a uh, salute to my guy, Bootleg Kev. Drop on the clues bounce for Bootleg Kev. Bootleg Kev done figured it all the way out. That's my guy. 
Okay, I've been watching Boulay Kev in this radio audio game for a long time. Let's yeah, shout out to Boulay Kev. Yep. And also, lastly, on some positive news, Tory Lanez donates fifty thousand dollars to help families post bail for loved ones. You know, a lot of times people get locked up for small crimes that just can't pay for the bail. Maybe the bail might be a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred or five hundred. And he's donating fifty thousand dollars to help families post bail for their loved ones. So that's pretty dope. All right. Absolutely. And that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Let's talk COVID a little bit. Let's talk booster shots. All right. Oh, you get one. Well, we'll talk about it when we come back. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.